I recently covered how to set up Moonlight using both GameStream and Sunshine. It has been one of our most successful videos on the channel, which I understand since it's a great setup. But then I got people asking me how to use this remotely. Can I use Moonlight without being connected to my home's Wi-Fi? The answer is yes, you can do that. And we're going to do it in the most simple, safe and quick way. When I started checking the ways people were doing this on YouTube, I got dragged into a number of videos explaining how to do port forwarding, which is basically how to open some of your ports to an external network. Not only this is a long and messy thing to do, it's not safe unless you use it with a VPN. So scratch that, we're going to do it in a very easy way that's also really safe for your system. I'm assuming you already have Moonlight and Sunshine working on your system as per our previous video. Feel free to check it again if that's not the case. I will add it to the description and also link it at the end of this video. Okay, so for starters, we need to download a nice app called Tailscale. This will allow us to create our own safe personal network. You will need it in both machines. This is your host PC and wherever else you want to use Moonlight from. The first good news is that we can 100% use the free version of the software. The other good news is that there are versions for just about everything. Windows, Android, Linux, Mac OS, iPhone. In my case, just for testing purposes, I'm going to use my phone connected to a 5G network that is not my Wi-Fi. This way I can test if it works. So first install Tailscan into your PC. It will ask for an email to log in. This feels a bit intrusive, but thanks to it, the connection on every machine to the network becomes incredibly fast. Sorry about all the blurry numbers and info, but there's a lot of IP addresses on this video. Next, install Tailscale onto your client machine, in my case my phone, where I downloaded it from the Google Play Store. Again, log in with the same email and you'll be automatically connected to your own personal network. Pretty easy so far. See those IP addresses identifying both of your connected devices? Keep that in your mind, as it will be useful. Now if I go to Moonlight my phone, I can see it's not currently detecting my desktop. Don't worry, we just need to use a different IP now that we have a new network. Remember those IPs we just saw on Tailscale? Take note of the one for your desktop PC and use it on Moonlight to find a new device. Done. That's all you need to do. Your desktop should now be detected and ready to go with Moonlight. How easy was that? Much quicker than port forwarding and works really well. As a final point, by default, Tailscale will be configured to start every time you reboot, which is usually desired, but it might not be what you want. If you want to prevent it from doing so, go check your startup apps. In Windows 11, you can find the menu in Settings, Apps and Startup, and check Tailscale GUI Client, and you're good to go. Now, whenever you need Tailscale, you will have to start it yourself, which frankly is absolutely fine as it's just a double click on the desktop shortcut. There you go. Short and sweet. I hope it helped. If it did, please click like and subscribe for more content like this. And enjoy your gaming in a relaxed setting.